Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. How are you today? We're all good here. Just a disclaimer, the videos on this channel are not made for or intended for children in any way, shape or form and we do discuss adult topics when we're doing these colouring chats. Excuse me, just taking a slug of water. Today we're going to be colouring in Fairy Portraits, a Beautiful Fantasy Faces colouring book by Selena Fennec. Now, if you've know, watched this channel, you would know that Selena Fennec is one of my favourite artists. I love her work. I don't colour enough of stuff, uh, other stuff, but... And I've never really coloured with markers in any of her books because this isn't grayscale. She does have some grayscale books. But today I'm just going to do a straight colour marker one in, in this book because I quite like this one. This one is called Fairy Scribe because there are two pictures in this, two copies of each picture in this book, like with Jade Summer and Ava Brown and a lot of the other ones we get, Hannah Lynn, I can colour it in markers. And then if I want to colour it again, I can try it in... Um, pencils as well and do all different colours and things so we'll just start here so I'm just using my touch new skin tones this is barely beige this is the one I actually use the most for some reason I think it looks really good on the grey scale so that's why but uh, it's a very nice colour like I said I'm not worrying about uh, colouring too much it's just a straight colouring chat for today so how are you all? guys in the states how are you feeling it's inauguration day today because this will be going out on Wednesday the 20th which is the day that Joe Biden is inaugurated into the White House and becomes president so woof. how are you guys feeling over there you know I mean and there's a lot of people here looking forward to it I mean it doesn't it doesn't affect my life very much not the way it does affect you guys in the states so I hope that this is going to be a good thing for America and I hope that things are going to get better over there and you know um, I really do I, I'm my thoughts are with you all as always and I hope you're all right over there so and I'm not going to say who's right and who's wrong there's no right or wrong you you vote with your hearts and your heads and your minds and your morals and and I've always said just because I might not agree with your politics doesn't mean to say we can't be friends I've got friends who voted different than you to me in the general election that's their right I've got no right to tell them to vote in any other way they vote where they feel is best and that's the way it is that's democracy that's democracy at work so there you go that's enough of politics for tonight so i haven't bought that many books i have i think got five that it might be six by the time it gets the end of the month it depends on how quickly one i've ordered from abroad comes in i don't know I hope it doesn't take too long, but with customs and Brexit and COVID, I just don't know. I hope it comes because it was very expensive. And it's going to be a while before I can order another one of, of that particular type of book, which I would, I'm looking forward to, to showing you. And, and of course, using, because it's all about using our, um, our supplies and our books. And we are currently working. I know they're still doing... Um, colour your hoard um, and I'm doing very well I mean I don't post all my pictures and hashtag it colour my hoard but I think I've coloured in five or six books I had this month that I haven't coloured in before as well as a couple I have and as well as um, a couple of loose pages in fact I've done three loose images that I've printed off from various uh, books that's my internet going <laughs> it's just my uh, uh, YouTube notifications go on. My laptop is in the corner. I'm just uploading a video. So somebody's commented on something recently, so I'll have a look at that uh, when I finished filming. So this one is Fairy Scribe. I think it's lovely. I think she's beautiful. 
I don't know what colour I'm going to do a dress. It looks like there's uh, sun rays coming through there, so I have to decide what we're doing. But I really like this book. I think it's beautiful, but, you know, I'm not the best colourist. I just do what I feel. And today I just feel, after doing the Doctor Who, which I'll admit is still not finished because <laughs> of all that greenery, that'll be finished sometime this week, and it will, um, that I just need to just straight colour. I mean, while I might straight colour with my gel pens, glitter gel pens in a pattern, sometimes you just need to sit back and colour a, a generally uh, just a, 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 a big picture like this. And uh, just a picture, and just straight colour it without all the bells and whistles and shading and blending. And this pen's probably going to run out soon because I use it all the time. Although I have uh, done one picture where I've used Skin White. So I need to be a bit more brave with my colour choices. <laughs> and I, I do with, pen, with pencils, I just get in and, and colour whatever I want to, so yeah. So yes, this, this month's haul will be very small. It's not going to be any cheaper because, like I said, I have ordered an expensive book and it'll hopefully be in this month's haul. Um, but if not, there's nothing I can do about it, so I'm hoping it will be. I'm hoping we'll be able to do a colouring chat in it. So I think I've done enough uh, out of my new books. I am trying to colour the new books I get in as well so that I'm not putting anything on the shelf. And so far I've done, out of the five books I've got, I've done ooh, is it one or two. It's definitely one. But um, yeah, I will be coming in, in in the other one as well, uh, the others as well. Uh, and I'm working on a second one. That's it. I'm working on another one at the moment as well. So it's easy when it's pattern books. I find those so easy to do and also so relaxing. I, I can just sit and just sit for hours and just colour and colour and colour the um yeah so thinking what colour to do her hair um oh. Excuse me, not feeling too well. So, yeah. <laughs> I have got hazelnut brown and desert sand. Because I'm trying all different things. So, um, oh, that's such a nice colour. I don't, I wouldn't say it was sand. But we've got some light shining on it. I think it's rays of light. It looks like rays of light. So I'm going to make it light on the top. So what's been happening over here? Not a lot really. It's been quite quiet. Um... The other night Jennifer had some night terrors, which is never good, poor Gil. Um, so she was crying and screaming and thrashing around. And there's nothing you can do, you just got to let them scream it out. And, you know, I was in there talking to her and comforting her. She knew I was there, she was reaching for me. She reaches for me, I will pick her up. Even though, she, even though she's in that sort of state, she knows I'm there. And uh, she wants me to cuddle her. And so I, I pull her out of bed and then I... Uh, it's a bit dark, really. Never mind. You know, like, when you just feel like... You just cover it over like that. Just let there's a bit of shine on it. Well, it won't... It... There we are. It's a nice colour, actually.
which doesn't look too bad. I've got a bit of a headache at the moment as well, which is not helping, helping me, so. That's, um, we find the humidity, when the humidity goes up, even in the winter, I get very, very bad headaches. Not nice at all. That looks a bit better. It's all about trying things. I'm not afraid to make mistakes. Making mistakes is part of learning, isn't it? Let's be honest. We have to make a mistake, otherwise we never, ever, ever get any better. So this may not be the best thing I've ever done, but you know what? I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm just enjoying having a chat with you, having a colour. I can always put a, another colour over the top, and I'll probably put ginger over the top in a bit, just to darken it down and also redden it out a little bit, so... And that's what I do, I just, just mix the colours till I'm happy. There's ginger. So I'll just give it a bit of darker, a bit of redness. I mean, I'm just putting different colours on it to see what it looks like because I can. This is a nice colour. Brandy Rose is a bit lighter, but not as light as the um, previous colour, which is actually a really nice colour to use for something out for another. Oh, that's okay, quite like that. Just looks like there's some light shining on it. Hazelnut, that's what I was using. So. so yeah, like I said, it's just nice to have a little bit of a basic colour after doing something like the Doctor Who one. I've got another couple on the go that's taken a lot of work. I've got actually three other ones on top of the Doctor Who one, which is nearly done. It's just the, the sky, um, a few leaves and the trees, tree bark. There's not a lot of it left now, so, which is good, I mean, yeah, it's just one of those things, isn't it, you know, sometimes you just need to chill out and relax a bit with the, uh, Yeah, so Selena Fennec does have some grayscale books, so I might actually get one of those at some point. She's also got a new one out, which I haven't got yet, which I need to get. Oh, it's terrible. Too many books coming out that I want. And there's already too many books out that I want. How? You know, I know. I mean, it is like I say, it's another hobby, isn't it? Collecting the current books is a hobby in itself, which is why we have so many. And also, when you do a channel, you like to you do like to show stuff. But I don't want to buy stuff I'm not going to colour in. Every book I've bought is because I've wanted to colour in it. I've just got to change my uh, battery. I'll be right back. Okay, so that's done. Let's crack on. Uh, yeah, just a matter of just pootling along and <sighs> it's just very uh, wet and windy here we've got a storm overhead at the moment so it's going to be very wet for the next couple of days which is annoying because I wanted to take my car out for a run to make sure I keep the battery topped up just doing my head <laughs> every time I say I'm going to take the car out for a run it rains the whole point of doing it is to charge the battery up, but you can't do that, really, if you were using the lights, the windscreen wipers, the radio. The whole point is you just run it without any of the uh, ancillary electrics on to keep the battery charging. So, 
annoying. So it's all a bit strange downstairs at the moment. It's a bit of a bit of a mess. We have a, a load of new doors <laughs> arrived today because we're having some work done downstairs. We're having a, a, some French doors put up in the middle of the room to separate the dining room and the living room so that Paul can uh, work down there uninterrupted when Jennifer's home and she can watch TV and he can work and have his meetings without uh, any interruption. It also means I'll be able to work down there during the day um, in the living room and uh, I won't have to worry about... Uh, his music because he likes listening to music or if he's in a meeting or him over here in the confidential stuff I deal with and him and the confidential stuff he deals with so that's pretty cool but it means there are doors everywhere and on Thursday we've got somebody coming to plaster Jennifer's bedroom so as soon as it's ready um, and uh, the guy gives us all clear to paint it I'll book a day off work and paint it um, and then uh, we get to put up her big bed and then God help us she'll be coming into our rooms at all hours of the day and night she can't actually open my door because the handle sticks it's great I'm too near her trying to get in and I have to shut my door because I, uh, I mean when I'm in the spare room that is I have to Shut up. Like tonight, I'll sleep in it because it's getting late and I'm still a bit filming. I won't disturb Paul because um, I have the window open, and that's another reason sometimes I sleep in it because if the bedroom's too stuffy, I can't sleep, it gives me headaches. I've got a headache as it is. I'll be taking painkillers later. Just so that I can. Um, Get rid of the headache. It'll only be like um, a sinus headache pill. I've got some in the drawer. They're called Sudafed. But um, I need to. Uh, I, I can't stand the room being hot. And in fact, Paul says it's like an ice box in here. And you know what? It probably is. But I really like sleeping in the cold. I cannot bear being hot at all. That's the wrong way around. That one goes there. That one goes there. Yeah, I can't stand sleeping in, in the cold, in the hot. I, I, I've got to be literally ice cold. It's got to be ice cold. If it's not ice cold, I can't sleep. So we're now going to do um, some of the trim on her dress. At all. Not at night, not when I'm sleeping. I like I like it cold. I snuggle down and get warm, but I like it to be cold. And Paul calls it the ice box. And I'll be honest, he's right, it is. It is an ice box. But I can't help it, that's how I have to sleep. I've always been the same. I like it as cold as possible. If my feet get cold, I put on a pair of bed socks. Or get a hot water bottle, or if it's really bad, both. So, yeah. This isn't going to be a long video because my head is banging so I do actually want to try and get off to, to sleep soon. It's getting late. It's not that late. I looked at my clock. I was just going to start filming some videos. So I've done a couple of flip throughs which you'll be seeing uh, shortly. And it was 5 to 10. I thought it was nearly 11 o'clock because I've been reading for ages. And I literally just finished um, reading a book. So this month I've actually read 11 books already. Because I'm reading them on my phone 
because um, I find it very hard to hold a book when I'm holding Jennifer when she's sitting on my lap watching television but I can hold my phone so I'm reading a lot of um, e-books and there's nothing wrong with e-books I don't think they, they're just as good I mean obviously if it's a book I'm going to keep I want the hardback or the, the paperback copy the pendant you know um, I ordered, pre-ordered Michelle Morgan's new book today it's not out until January 13th next year but it is on Amazon for pre-order already and I've uh, ordered it so yeah I'll talk about more of that in the weekly vlog when you see that you'll I will talk a bit about that uh, a couple of times so and how you can find it and pre-order it nice to have Jennifer's room done. I'm very excited for her to have a proper bed and um, she because she sleeps decently now she's a good girl she sleeps properly she don't roll around as much as she used to tends to if she's thrashing but obviously but uh, that's so rare that she does that like I said I can't have my door open because of uh, it'll bang if I have it open and the windows open and I have to have the window open. But uh, yeah, so it would be nice to have my own uh, bed in and pillows and duvet and stuff. And a proper bed. Be nice and warm and cosy for her. Some of the cuddly toys. And then, uh, yeah, it's getting there. Bless her heart, that's all I'm going to say about her. She's the best. So I'm going for a darker blue now. Which one do I want? Steel, light, navy, denim, or Mykonos? Mykonos. <laughs> oh, my head. Yeah, it's not good. I've got to decide what I'm going to do with her wings in the background yet. I haven't quite decided. Oh my god, that rain. I'm kind of thinking maybe um, metallic paint, but it's very thin paper, so I don't know how it'll take. Perhaps if I don't use too much water, it might be all right. Oh yeah, just wanted a blue I did for her, her dress. I don't know why. Red's normally my favourite colour, but I just thought blue would be nice on this. Like I said, I'll always do the other one red. So yes, I'm still reading Dreamcatcher. It's uh, Stephen King, very, very strange. But I'm dying to get onto these um, Titanic books, but I have got a couple of others to finish off before. So what else? I finished off the time travel book I was reading, so that's good. Yes, I'm sure there was someone else I was reading. I can't remember what it is now. I'll have to have a look because if I am it'll be on my thing it might be that it's the one I finished um I finished oh it's called it was called do they know it's Christmas yet and it's about this brother and sister whose grandfather invented a time machine and he went and they they end up going back to 1984 and they break it because it's the day that Bob Geldof saw the um, news footage of the starving children in Africa and decided to do something about it. Um, and they actually uh, uh, cause an accident with a taxi he's driving in. So he has an accident, ends up in hospital, so he doesn't actually see the news broadcast. So they then got to get, try and um, find a way of fixing it. It's so bizarre, but also very good. Gosh, it's hammering down out there now. You can literally hear it hammering down. It's terrible. Well, it's not as rain, but they, they did say it's possible that we're going to get, um, over the next day or two, uh, the equivalent of two months of rain in one, uh, one or two days, which is a lot of rain. And they're very worried about the north of England because it's already quite wet up there. They've had snow, so there's a lot of low-lying snow around that needs to melt. 
So they were quite worried about flooding again. I mean, where we are, we're on a hill, so it's really going to run past us, pretty much. But these poor people have been flooded already. Oh, I hope it doesn't, I hope it, it doesn't come to as bad as they said, but the way it's looking at the moment now, it's going to be because it is absolutely hammering down out there. Sorry if I'm talking really quietly, it's only because everybody's in bed asleep. Um, I don't think Jennifer will wake up, she'll sleep from anything. We took her, when she was very little, we took her into a pub when Six Nations was on. Uh, and Wales were playing, so it was a home match. I think they were playing at home, I'm not sure. So everybody was very rowdy in the pub, and she was only a few months old. She was born at the end of January, and Six Nations is like February, March. And she slept through the entire thing. She's good as gold. So at the moment, she's most nights she's a good sleeper. Every now and again, yeah, she does have the odd... odd one, where she is can't sleep, doesn't want to sleep, has a nightmare. The other night she had a nightmare, she dreamt there was a mouse in her bedroom running around. Now I know there's no mice in her bedroom, but I also know it was a dream because the mouse was wearing shoes. Mm -hmm. Not clogs, shoes. So, it's all very strange this world we're living in but who knows what's going to be next hopefully we will start getting back to normal at some point we just got to see what happens with this these variant strains of covid and the vaccine and let's see what happens for me i'm not too bad but i do get how some people are suffering and my heart goes out to them and i, I want it over for them me, I'm quite happy. I'm a very solitary person. I don't mind being on my own. But I've got friends who are really struggling with it. And my heart goes out to them. The thing I miss most is being able to go out for a meal and a drink in a pub. Or a restaurant. That's what I miss the most at the moment. I'm just having a look. So from that point of view I do actually get why some people are very, very, very struggling. They are struggling a lot at the moment because of it and I do get it. I mean I get depressed, I get very depressed but, and I get lonely funny enough. Some people are very sultry, I do get lonely but I don't get lonely for the sense of being with a lot of people or I, 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 I just sometimes get, I feel lonely because all my friends and I've got lots of friends, believe me. They live miles away. They live in, in other parts of the UK or in America or France or Germany, Spain, New Zealand, Australia. I've got friends all over the world and I'd like to meet up with them again. And, um, and sometimes being a mum is very lonely because Paul's working all day, I work in the mornings, but when she comes home, I, I just feel like I've got no one to talk to and I don't get to do anything for myself because I'm always making sure Jennifer's happy and that's how it should be and I don't begrudge her that. Uh, we sit and watch TV together, we play together, we were playing with the Play-Doh earlier, she loves that. But of course I can't do anything for myself until she goes to bed. And then I'm running around catching up with the washing up and putting things away. Or the washing. Or I'm doing eBay packing. I mean, I drafted stuff today and I haven't listed it. I mean, I've got to find the book with my notes in it, so I'm going to find that next. And then I'll make sure that I put up a load tomorrow. I did do some work on the account today because I've got some um, things to put up. I think they're called item specifics. So there is, a, there is activity on the account, which is good. I mean, I'm not making a, a huge effort on it at the moment, but it's something I've got to get back into the habit of doing. Tomorrow I will be doing some sort of eBay, whether it's photographing or measuring and getting some listings up. But it is it's hard work trying to do my part-time job, look after Jennifer, look after Paul, 
make sure everybody's got clean clothes and that we all eat. To be fair, Paul does the washing up. I've got to give him that. He's a brilliant. And then I've got to, and then I'm doing YouTube as well. And then trying to do eBay. It's just, it does get too much sometimes that uh, something falls by the wayside. And I like doing my videos. I like talking to you. I like making them. They don't make me any money. Not very much. They make me a few pence here and there, but not a not a ton of money. And and that's fine. I don't mind that. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the fun and the, the companionship and, and having somebody nice to talk to you. I love talking to you. So... It is just sometimes I can't, I'm, I'm one person, I can't do everything, so yeah, it is what it is, I'm not worried. I'm getting a bit chilly, so are we on there, 16 minutes. So like I said, it's going to be a long one, because I'm, I'm going to finish it in, off in the next video. I missed half of her arm there, I'll finish that in a video, minute. So what I want to try and do is use, I'm not too worried about that because that's just the thing, some paint on the background that I've got, I've got to film a first impressions for that paint as well. Um, I might not, I might just use the, I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with the background yet. So that's why I'm going to leave it tonight and just do the person and then we'll have a look at the background another day. If I sound a bit off, it's because I'm feeling a bit out of it today. Because I've got a headache, um, didn't sleep very well last night because of Jennifer having night terrors. And the night before she was had the nightmare, so of course I'm two nights not sleeping as well so I am looking forward to turn the light off after I finish this video and go into sleep my gosh that rain it is terrible And that is why I have to keep my door closed. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. That looks nice. How many minutes are we on? 20, 30... Mm, about 33 that's not too bad we can go for a little bit longer so we'll give her some lovely luscious lips mm -hmm. rose I think is it rose I want what's that colour ruby no we want rose right. so we'll give her some lovely luscious lips yeah it's, just, it's like talking to yourself when you're uh, you're doing this you do you talk to yourself that's why I like to make videos I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you guys, and you are the best. So thanks for all the suggestions of, um, arti of artists to check out on Etsy. I will. Um, looking forward to doing that. And uh, that'll be nice. She looks quite sad, this girl, doesn't she? Oh, I don't like her looking sad. Perhaps she's transcribing something that's not very nice, do you think? Because she doesn't look very happy, does she? She always looks heartbroken. I 
I need to do my eyebrows. I haven't done them yet. Uh, she looks so. I don't like it. She looks so sad. She really does. Why is she such a sad looking person? I don't like it. I don't like it when people look sad. Can you feel the sadness? I can. Maybe it's because I haven't given her any eyeshadow. <laughs> oh dear me, that's such a silly thing to say, is it? Oh, I haven't given her any eyeshadow. I can give her a burgundy book cover. been reading a lot and it's nice to actually get back to, to reading a fair bit because it's actually been a long time since I've I've actually read a lot and to be honest it's been really nice to uh, read and not have to think oh I've, I should be doing this I should be doing that but instead I am just reading um, books about um, history, Jack the Ripper, Princes in the Tower, fiction, poetry, uh, all sorts. And it's really nice not to have to think, oh, I haven't got time to read. I can't read because of Jennifer. I can't do that. I can sit there and I can read. And she is quite happily sitting on my knee watching a bit of television or... Uh, you know, listening to music, and then if she wants to play, we'll go off and play for a bit, and I'll stop reading. So, right, next, where did that one come from? That came from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking for a very light colour, and also a. Hmm. I'm just going to do her little brooch thing on here. We're going to give her a bit of colour here, put a bit of yellow on. There we go. And it's just the book, and it's things like the, the pages of the book. You sort of want a vellum colour, but there isn't really one in here. So it's about quick, let's see what I've got. This is actually called Jasmine Yellow, but it'll actually look all right as the, the book pages. It's sort of a creamy vellum colour. So. That's actually a really nice colour. So we're just going to finish this bit off the book and then I'm going to leave the rest and uh, decide what to do with the... Um, background for the next video and her her wings I, I've got an idea what I'm going to do here but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with her wings and um, when I say here I mean this bit up here the what looks like sun rays I know what I'm going to do with that pretty much um I've just got to do it it's her wings I'm not sure of and um, I need to think about it I want to use my metallic paints, but I haven't done the um, what's it called? The um, first impressions video on them yet, so and I might film that next and put it up and then put the um, then film this one and do the background for the next colour in chat. So, yeah, it'd be nice to see. I mean, you won't get a lot of water on this paper because it's so thin, but a little bit. And I, I don't want a lot because I want it quite see-through, so that should be all right. 
I just need to put a bit of grey on, on the um, spine of the feather and we done. It's all good fun, isn't it? And this won't take long to finish as well. I, I do, sometimes you just want to do something that's nice and quick and simple and isn't going to take forever to do. And that's, that's what you want. You want something that's going to be nice and simple to do. It's not going to take forever. I don't want that one. I always use that colour. Oh, yeah, we will use that one. <laughs> um, it still looks nice, it's just a simple straight colour and we just need to do the background. So I'm just going to show you what we've done today and then in the next video we'll do the background and her wings with the iridescent uh, metallic paint. So that's it so far. I quite like it actually. If you've enjoyed this video please uh, leave me a comment uh, down below and give it a big thumbs up. Um, let me know what you want to see me do next, um, if there's any of the books that you've seen that you like, um, just let me know and I'll happily do it. Or if there's an artist you want to see me colour, if you, you know what books I've got because they're all up on here, just let me know and I will certainly do that for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video, like I said, I do apologise, it's not as long as I would have liked it to have been, but I'm not feeling 100% my head's killing me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.